Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Just a heads up, I am working on a logo and a banner for my YouTube channel. I will be changing my YouTube channel name. So I just wanted to give you a heads up about the name change, okay? Thank you for stopping by. If you are new, welcome. Please don't forget to hit up that subscribe button. Thank you so much. Now, let's talk about Aubrey O'Day. She says she doesn't feel vindicated at all by the recent allegations surrounding Diddy. Aubrey was previously signed to Diddy's Bad Boy Records after he helped form her group, Danity Kane, on MTV's Making the Band in 2005. She spoke with people about her reaction to the latest developments surrounding Diddy. There's no vindication when you are a victim of someone. Anyone being exposed or any truths being told don't change the reality of what you experience, Aubrey says, referencing the abuse and SEX trafficking allegations Diddy is currently facing. She says it's a forever thing that you have to wake up every day and choose to evolve past. It doesn't go away. It's like childhood trauma. We don't like to think it just dis we don't like to think it just disappears in our thirties, but really we start realizing how bad it really is in our thirties. Justice is so much bigger than one man. A bigger lane needs to be open for the discussion beyond the abusers, which is how to create a safe space for music artists to evolve. Be credited properly, be paid properly, and to not ever feel in fear or an obligation to anyone that has power over them and their dreams. I don't know what he's feeling. I just know what all of the victims felt, and I can see a clear path and direction for this industry to go in that could create a safe space for artists. And I'm going to fight like heck to see it in my lifetime. In September, Aubrey revealed she was among the former bad boy artists who were asked to sign NDAs agreeing to never disparage Diddy or his label. The singer said she would not sign the agreement and encouraged her bandmates to refuse to sign it as well. So you see, at the time, Diddy had announced plans to reassign publishing rights to the label's artists. The process began back in 2021. Aubrey says, so what's happening is artists, some of them, not all of them, are being given streaming royalties and ownership back over our publishing on songs that we wrote at a time when you know that you have to stream a song a million times to make a cent. It's hundreds of dollars. And me, as somebody that is a girl's girl, I hit everyone in my group and said, absolutely do not take this deal. I can get us a show on Hulu right now. So after releasing two albums with Danity Kane, Aubrey was removed from Danity Kane by Diddy in 2008. Alongside D. Woods, Juanita Woods, following tension between the women and Diddy. So Diddy has been named in seven lawsuits since November 2023 and has been accused of all word, gang all word, S-E-X, D-R-U-G, and more. Last week, federal investigators announced plans to bring several of Diddy's accusers before a grand jury. This is what I believe. Aubrey doesn't feel vindicated yet because nothing has been done. There's a process. It's going to take some time. I mean, he's Diddy, right? There's going to be a lot of things, you know, they have to go through, right? They have to work out. But once Diddy is locked up, I believe she will feel vindicated and hopefully every artist, they all get a check, you know, because it's wrong what he did. 
he robbed these artists. So even though people are not believing the victims and the truth is being revealed, which is great, it doesn't change what happened to them. They will have to live with that for the rest of their life. Yeah, they can try to heal. They can heal. But, you know, it's still, you know, that's something that they'll never forget. It will always be in the back of their mind. So I get it. I, I do get it. But I believe once Diddy is dealt with, it'll be so much better. People will feel like, yeah, yeah, this is better. This is so much better. Once he is indicted, which he will be indicted, he will be arrested, you guys. Yes, he will be. So yeah, let's pray for all victims, whether we know them, famous or not. Let's pray for all victims. I always do. I pray for everyone. You know, people that are being abused, people that are being tortured, abused, S-E-X, trafficking. Yeah, you have to pray. You have to pray because these people are being tortured and they're being, oh, it's sickening. It's so sickening. Um, That's all, you guys. So thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and share. Thank you so much, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.